guys welcome back to various tutorials so we have been looking at the series production of common food commodities and guess what this video is no different today we'll be zooming in on another commodity and today's episode will feature what it will feature maize commonly known as corn stay tuned and four food science and technology production of common food commodities and today we'll be looking at the production of cereals featuring maize focus points now we're going to look at an overview of maize parts of a maize grain types of maize products and also we'll be exploring the production system of maize now, let's look at the overview maize or corn is a cereal crop that is grown widely about 50 species of maize exist and consist of different colors textures and grain shapes and sizes white yellow and red are the most common types now as you can see in this picture here we have a sample of what the white corn looks like the yellow and also the red now guys let us explore the parts of a maize or corn grain now as you can see it is very much similar to that of the cereals that we have looked at so far already and why is that so yes it is so because maize is also considered as a cereal so it will have it may look a little different but it has the same parts so as you can see you can see the germ you can also see the hull and you also can see the section of the endosperm now guys let us look at the maize products now the first one we have here is cornmeal cornmeal is a coarse flour ground from dried maize or we could say dried corn it is a common staple food and is ground to fine medium and coarse consistencies corn flour corn flour is a powdery flour made of finely ground cornmeal not to be confused with cornstarch corn flour comes in yellow and white and is used for breading and in a combination with other flours in baked goods corn flour is milled from the whole kernel that simply means the entire corn grain right while cornstarch is obtained from the endosperm portion of the kernel next cornstarch cornstarch is a carbohydrate extracted from the endosperm of the corn this white powdery substance is used for many culinary household and industrial purposes in cooking cornstarch is most often used as a thickening agent for sauces gravies glaze soups casseroles pies and other desserts now let us look at the production system of maize there are two basic categories of industrial processing employed for transforming maize into products for human consumption they are known as the dry and also the wet milling so you have two industrial processes one dry milling and number two wet milling now let's take a look at the wet milling process so after the corn has been shelled so you have the shelled corn it is received it is stored it is inspected and also clean it moves to a further process a next process called steeping and this refers to where corn kernels are added to large tanks of water containing sulfur dioxide 
This softens the kernels and brings to separate their parts. Good. The next one is germ separation. So mills coarse grind the softened kernels in order to separate the oil rich germ from the steeped kernels. Next we have fiber separation, then the starch separation, and at this stage, ethanol can be made. So if ethanol is not uh, desired to be made, then the next step would be the co-product processing. And this is where products are, are made into animal feeds. Good. Now, let us look at the dry milling process. If you notice, it has the same process such as the after the corn has been shelled, it has receipt, storage, and inspection. Now, this process entails that uh, large corn husk and foreign materials are removed from the incoming corn and the kernels are stored for further processing. The next stage is cleaning. So screeners remove additional unwanted materials such as stones, glass, and sticks from the corn kernel. Then there is milling. So corn kernel are crushed and ground, forming a dry, fine corn flour. The next process here is liquefaction. So corn flour, water, enzymes, and other ingredients are mixed in a tank where cornstarch breaks into simple sugar. The next process, saccharification, and this is where another enzyme is added to break the simple sugars down for further into glucose. You also have what is fermentation, and then yeast is added to the mixture to help convert glucose into ethanol and carbon dioxide. Good? And this will produce ethanol, as I said before. And then the final stage is the co-product processing where animal feeds and other co-products are produced. So we have two processes. We have the dry milling process and we have the wet milling process. Now, let us look at the areas that were highlighted today. We looked at an overview of maize, the different parts of a maize grain, types of made pro maize products and also the production system of maize. Also, you've made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe and share with persons who you know will find this video useful. Thank you for making it various tutorials.